Hello friends, I am the Ungunga from class 70. Today we will learn sundial. What is a sundial? Sundial is a clock that is used in ancient times by the people who know the time. It is used shadow of the metallic portion on the surface it is put. Sundial practically, yeah, it's interesting. So let's learn sundial practically. So you can see that this is a sundial. Sundial. Here you can see that here are different timings written as 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m. till 7 p.m. So when the sun rises, the shadow of this portion puts on this line. So when the shadow of the this portion is put on 6 a.m. return it means that it is 6 am so when the earth rotates the shadow also rotates and uh, slowly it moves to 7 8 9 10 11 so we will do it practically so for practically i have taken an artificial sun this is a torch we will or sun will be represented by this torch so let's do it practically i will switch off all my lights it's very dark so i will switch off my torch and here you can see that the torch is represent sun so you can see that this shadow moves uh, as the sun moves so first as the sun rises so now it is at 6 am uh, means the sun means the time is 6 am now it moves as the earth rotates the shadow also rotates and now it is at 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and now it is at 12. It shows that when, now you can see that the shadow is the shortest. That means when the sun is up at the exact upper point of an only any object, the shadow is the shortest. Now it again slowly moves at 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3, 4, 5 and now it moves to 7 p.m. Now the sun sets. So when the sun sets the shadow also stops and it, it only works when the sun is there. So I will again switch on my light. Yes. So friends, you can see that how sundial work practically. In the ancient times, it is not looked like this. It was made up of metal. Something it looks like this or like this. So you can know that the sundial is in different parts of our country. It is a different shapes and languages. So friends, thank you for watching my